And just before we do the flint reed leveling method, I, I want to make a note of something because this is something that confused me um, just as I'd completed this and I retried the home position because once you've leveled your printer and you, uh, your FDM printer and your home, it, it will go to the correct nozzle height from the bed. And what happens with this one, once you've set your Z0 position, you press your home button, obviously you've raised your bed to check what have you or to install your resin vat. Press your home button and the build plate will move down. It will do what it did before, but you will notice that it doesn't actually go to the Z0 position. It goes to the position where you started and it will, obviously there's no resistance there at all. And I did that and my initial thought was that I'd done something wrong and hadn't locked in the zero position somehow. It transpires that having a quick check of the manual again, because I didn't read it properly in the first instance, which I should have done, but the Z home position and the Z zero position are two different things. So the zero position is where it will print its first layer. The home position is just a default setting where the optical reader detects and it will stop it and that will be higher than the zero position. So just be aware of that. If, if that happens to you and you're thinking that you've done something wrong, it's not the case at all. So what we're going to do now is we're going to raise up this uh, this build plate and I'm actually going to slacken that off again just so we can kind of start from scratch as it were so just until it tightens and then just back it off just the tiniest tiniest bit so it will move and we're going to raise this up about 80 millimeters the second of the leveling methods, this is the flint reed method. Uh, some of you will have already seen his, uh, is quite good despite his, his um, protestations of, um, of not being particularly handy with uh, videoing things. He's, he's got a perfectly good video explaining the procedure, uh, but I want to go through the procedure here with um, the little addition that you should be able to see up here, if I, uh, if I edit this right, of the screen and the operation of the screen during the process of leveling. So the first thing we need to do, uh, the resin tray is in place. This, this method uh, has everything in place. This is loose, as you can see, so we need to make sure that's reasonably straight. And we need to go into, from the main menu, we need to go into Tools, Move Z or Z, and then press the Home button. This will take the plate to its default home position. Uh, the home position, as mentioned before, is not the Z equals zero position. The home position always remains the same. At this point, we need to get it into the position that's going to become the Z equals zero position, the first layer position. What we need to do now is go onto the menu and select 0 0.1 millimeters, and we need to move the build plate down until it contacts the FEP sheet and presses it down onto the LCD screen. So we're going to make a few movements to start with. And after five or six or so, you want to slow down a little bit because at that point you'll start to feel, it will actually start to contact the FEP sheet and you'll start to feel a little bit of resistance to the wiggling and movement as I can. And I need to move this down until it feels really stiff and I can barely move it. I can still move that a little so Think one more. Yeah, and at that point there, I can just about move it. I think I might move that one more. Yeah, that's. I think that's that's pretty pretty solid there. Um, obviously, you don't want to move it too much when it's pressing down on the FEP sheet, as he mentions in his own video, because you don't want to scratch the sheet up. At this point while holding this in place so it's nice and evenly held on the screen I want to tighten down this grub screw and once you've got it reasonably tight with the ball end of the 
Allen key because you don't want to tighten it with this because these these are more likely to strip out a grub screw than the other end to the other end so you need to change to the short end and just nip that up not too tight you don't need to wrench down on it because you don't want to strip the threads at this point that plate is tight down onto the LCD onto the FEP film which is pressed onto the LCD screen that obviously is too close for printing so what you need to do is back it up and staying at 0.1 millimeter on the menu you go to the up button and one two three presses and this will lift the plate 0.3 millimeter clear which is um, the ideal height for your first layer you then need to press the back button you need to go to the z equals zero button this resets the z zero position uh, continue yes or no and press yes at this point you can go back to the main menu and your z equals zero position is set that's now set ready for your first print we've got that tightened down so we need to go back into your move z back to 10 millimeters and we need to move this up about 80 and 90 millimeters so that we can get access to the tray ready to fill it with resin a very quick note regarding leveling of the build plate when the build plate is loosened like so if I put pressure on this build plate you can see as I loosen it this gap here narrows as I loosen it and enlarges as I tighten it as you can see there so it, if it's really really loose if the grub screw is really loose you can push this down hard onto the LCD and then as you tighten it it will actually push the plate further down and this is because the grub screw is bearing down on a ball socket inside this unit here so what I would recommend you do to give you the least amount of, of um, difference in the movement on this is tighten it up until it just starts to bind like so and then back it off the tiniest tiniest amount so it's you can just move it but you can feel a tiny bit of friction like so and that will give you the least amount of variance in this slot here 